guys, welcome back. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my fake tanning routine and little hints and tips for getting a nice, even, streak-free tan. Now, I am an avid tanner. I'm so white normally. I've been tanning for like years. Like I think ever since I was like 17, I've been using fake tan because I absolutely hate being white and I just don't go in the sun enough to get tan. So at the moment, my tan of choice is the Loving Heart Deluxe Bronzing Mousse. I've only been using Loving Heart for maybe two or three months now, but I absolutely love it. I was going from tan to tan trying to find one that I really like. The problem with fake tans is that I find they either fade really quickly or they just aren't as dark as I want them to be. And I find that with Loving Tan, it's just a really nice dark tan and it actually lasts quite a while before it starts to wash off and it doesn't become patchy either. It fades really, really nicely as well, which I love about it as well. Now, one of the key things to having a really nice streak-free tan is the preparation. So, either the night before or I'll do just on the same night because I am super lazy, is you want to exfoliate your skin, especially around like the rough patches like elbows and knees. Now, to do this, all you need is an exfoliating glove. So, I'm going to be using the Loving Tan Exfoliating Glove. Otherwise, you can pick these up from like Kmart and Woolworths for like a couple of dollars. They're not expensive at all. And then whatever soap or like scrub you have on handy, and you're just going to lather that into your skin and give it a really nice good scrub just getting away all like the dead cells that are on your skin and making sure it's a nice even smooth not rough surface now the next step would be to either, like shave any hair off so off your legs if you do have any hair there that you want to get rid of for myself I get laser hair removals I don't have any hair so I don't worry about that problem but this is definitely the time to do that uh, just so it is nice and smooth and streak free Exfoliating also gets rid of any leftover tan that you may have previously had on because you don't want that on there when you're trying to apply a new tan. You want a really nice, clean base. So now that you're nice and exfoliated and your skin is super smooth, we're going to give yourself a really good dry off. You don't want any excess water on you, otherwise it's just going to make the tan run. And then we're going to go in with like a moisturizer just on our really rough patches. So on your elbows, you also want to go in on your knees as well. And I just use like a cocoa butter. You can use a Vaseline, you can use a moisturizer. It's just going to stop the tan from clinging to those rough areas and going really dark. Now another tip to get a really nice street free tan is to use a tanning mitt. So when I first started tanning, I never used to wear a tanning mitt. I used to use my hands and I'm not kidding, they were so black by the end of it and it was so hard to get the tan off. I literally used to get, I'm not even kidding when I say this, bleach and I would bleach my hands after I fake tan just to get all the excess tan off my like palms. I know, it's so shocking looking back on it, but um, a really nice tanning mitt is going to get you a really nice straight free tan. My favourite obviously is the Loving Tan Mitt. It is so super soft and it dries really quickly as well, which I love. And the tan, it's just, it's flawless. It's amazing. I When I first used it, I was like, where has this been all my life? Um, otherwise, another great recommendation would be the Bondi Sands Tanning Mitt. Um, there are a few others out there. I've used a couple that I don't really love. Some of them are a bit too rough and they do grow a bit streaky. So it is really important that you find a tanning mitt that you think works well with your skin and it is going to make it look streaky. So now you can go in with your tan. You can start anywhere. I always start at my ankles and work my way up. That's just how I do it. So I'll start on with like one leg and I'll do like my sheen and then my calf and then go onto the other leg. And then I just move up from there. So onto your thighs, hips, stomach and just work your way up. I do my arms and then any excess tan that's left over on the mitt, I'll then do on the top of my hands and then I'll go in like a little bit on top of my feet as well, just so they all blend in. I don't tan my face, that's just a personal preference because I'm scrubbing my face so much anyway in the shower, it just seems really pointless because you're gonna end up scrubbing it off anyway. Another great tip to make sure your tan is nice and flawless, especially around like your wrists and your ankles, is to get a powder brush and just literally just brush it out. Like brush it so that it blends really nicely into the non-tan skin, so like the base of your hand. And it's not going to be a clean cut, but it's just like a nice, gradual colour. Now personally, I choose to sleep in my fake tan. Uh, you can buy like actual like tanning sheets that you can sleep in. There's a couple of different brands out there. Brown Bear is a really good one. They have like a tanning suit that you just wear in bed and then you can let your tan cook for eight plus hours and look, wake up looking like a bronze goddess. And then all you have to do is jump into the shower the next morning, wash it off and you are looking smoking brown. 
So this is what I look like when I'm all nice and bronze. I really love the color. Like I said, it's not orange. It's a really nice brown. And the best thing about it is you can build it up. So if you do want to be a little bit more brown, you just repeat the process the next day and you will look so tan. It is amazing without any sun damage at all. Now to maintain the tan for up to a week, I like to moisturize myself as well. It just keeps the skin nice and hydrated, which is going to keep your tan on a lot longer and it's just going to fade a lot nicer as well. Another product that you can buy to top your tan throughout the week is this Bronze Shimmer Luminous Cream. It's just like a wash-off cream, but it's really nice. It's got like a nice satin, glowy finish about it as well. So Loving Tan sells this as well. I'll leave a link in the description box to all of the products as well below if you want to pick them up and try them for yourself. And I have a free discount code as well, which will get you a free tanning mitt if you make any purchase with them. So that is my tanning tips and how I've been fake tanning for the last like eight years because I'm a normally a very albino person. <laughs> but I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and I hope it helped. If you did, please give me a massive thumbs up because that does help me and make sure you subscribe because I upload videos every fortnight or try to at least. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye.